Good morning, students and staff. Welcome back to another great week here in the middle of April. We've been looking at friendship skills for this month, and one of the uh, words that's very much involved with that is the word involvement. Now listen to these words, these famous words, spoken by one of our presidents, John F. Kennedy, during his inaugural speech in 1961. Happens to be the year I was born. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. So what can you do for your country? As a young person, you can contribute in more ways than you think. You can volunteer in your community or your school here at Oxbow. You can help a neighbor who is ill or in need. You could write to your legislators about things that concern you. Just because you are young, don't ever think for a minute that you can't contribute to the world and make a difference. Today and this week, remember those words of President Kennedy and ask yourself, what is it that you can do for your country? Then just go ahead and do it. Okay, let's get started on this group project. Perfect, we'll just do some research. Okay, I'm done. Oh, great, we're done? No, I'm done. You didn't do any of the work. Seriously? Okay, let's get started on this research. Project. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we're done. We won't have any homework to do tonight. We had a great example of that recently here at Oxbow when we had a Boy Scout troop, and I'm going to get the names of the Oxbow kids, but a Boy Scout troop came over and they spread a bunch of uh, apple, or in our apple farm out there where we have a bunch of apple trees, they spread a bunch of mulch and wood chips. It was really awesome. They came out and did that, and with all of them working, it took them less than two hours, and now our apple uh, orchard out there is in really good shape for the coming year. What a great thing. And related to that, this week it's Earth Day. Monday is Earth Day. That's something that started way back in the 1970s, but it's an idea that has grown to include a lot more people than just those in the United States. The whole idea is we've only got one Earth. Let's take care of it. So I know some of our classes go out every spring and clean up out in the, in the schoolyard. That's a great thing to do. Maybe you notice when you drive by on some of the highways, there are signs up for groups and families that sign up to keep a section of the highway clean and litter-free. Those are examples that you could do not only on Earth Day but every day to get involved and make a difference because you know that you could do that. You know, we're, always in, we're also in Marvelous Math Month, April. What a great name. Um, we've got a couple examples. We had a couple of submissions. Here, Mrs. Wall's class has a couple of songs for us having to do with math. Take it away, you guys. 1WA's Coin Wrap. Ten, 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 one cent. Ten, one cent. So I don't know if you knew if your principal was a math major or not, but I was. I love mathematics. In fact, I've got a brain where I can read other people's minds. I don't know if you knew that or not, but see this chart over here? No, I'm not looking at it. 
Now, if I was really smart, maybe I could memorize all those numbers. But let me tell you right now, I didn't do that. I've got a little mathematical trick. Mr. Cole, read one of the numbers in a circle. Let me tell you if I can read your mind about what the four-digit number that comes after that two-digit number is. 16. 16. Okay, think really hard about that four-digit number afterwards. 16, 16, 16. I think it's coming to me. I think it's 2,796. Do you have another one? 43. This one's harder. You're kind of trying to trick me, I know. 43, I think it's 6, no, 43. It's 5,493. Am I right? Let's do one more. Just make sure I haven't memorized all these. 40. 40. 40, 40, 40. Think hard, think hard. 40, 40. 5,167. Well, students, I'm three for three. Maybe you can figure out that I'm not really reading his mind. Maybe you can figure out what the pattern is here and what it is that I'm doing. If you get the answer, write it on a slip of paper, bring it down to the office. I'd love to see it. We'll talk about it next week. Yeah, and I don't know if you knew that your principal had a little trick up his sleeve there, too. So I'd love to hear from you if you have an idea of what that trick is all about. Let's look at the announcements for the week. MCA testing, as you know, is going on. Our third, fourth, and fifth graders, nice job in this first week of testing. Keep going. Give it your best. Let's make sure that you show what you know. All of that work that you've put into it, here's your chance to show it. So, And the rest of us, we all need to be aware that when the kids are testing, we want to make sure that there aren't any interruptions to that as well. So thank you in advance for that. That estimation jar continues to be a highlight. Um, we have one student who has actually gotten the exact number twice. That is unbelievable. We're going to feature him on the announcements next week. But I think this week it was golf balls. I'm not sure what's coming up in the coming week. On Friday, it's our annual Fa Friday family fun night. What a great time. Rumor has it there's going to be an opportunity to duct tape the principal to the wall. I don't know. It's other duties as a sign, but apparently I'm going to be on the wall held up by duct tape by kids and families taping me to the wall. So you won't want to miss it. It's going to be a good time Friday night here at Oxbow Creek. Thanks to our parents for putting on really what will be a very fun carnival. And with that, I do have a few jokes to share with you along our theme of math. What U.S. state has the most math teachers? I'm pretty sure it's Massachusetts. Why was the math book sad? Because it had too many problems. What kind of meals do math teachers eat? Square meals. What is a math teacher's favorite sum? Summer. And what do you get when you divide the circumference of a jack-o'-lantern by its diameter? Pumpkin pie. It's kind of an older grade quite, or joke, but I think most of you can get it. Those are the uh, announcements for the week. See you back here next week. Have a great one.